today's video we will be seeing the ECMO machine and the connections of the ECMO this is an overview setup when it is attached to the patient here from the one tube the blood comes out and from one tube the blood goes inside the machine this machine utilizes oxygen as well as air we should ensure that both air and oxygen are collected properly and the pressures are equal both air and oxygen goes to a blender here is the air and oxygen both air and oxygen are mixed into the blender so this both goes to the blender so this is air pipe and oxygen in the bottom of this there is a mechanism of releasing the excess pressure if there is a variation in pressure of air or oxygen so the extra pressure is released off from the bottom part this is the blender where air and oxygen are mixed and the fiu2 or the fraction of inspired oxygen is controlled from here same type of setup is also seen in heart lung machines now going back to the machine so in the front screen there is a badging of brand then there are switches for setting rpms of the rotor so you can see there are different values of the rpm set so from the one tubing the blood comes out and goes to the centrifugal motor then the blood goes to the oxygenator and the oxygenation takes place. It also maintains the blood temperature with is, which is inside the body. The same temperature is maintained. So in the blender, the oxygen gets mixed. Here you can see the tubing from which the blood goes and inside this motor. And this has a peristalsis movement which further forces the blood to the oxygenator. From the oxygenator, the oxygenated blood goes back to the patient. The blood is then going back to the heart, then the blood pumps the oxygenated blood to the body. The granulation is done by the proficient surgeons and doctors and the machine is operated by perfusionists, so who are uh, well versed with the machine and operation. So these they continuously monitor this machine and depending on that the clinical decisions are made. The technicians carefully monitor the patient monitoring system and they monitor the different arterial pressures then they monitor the spo2 ecg and all the vital parameters are noted so if there is any variation or changes to any any drug is need to be added depending on that or any infusion is to be added added so such type of decisions are made the vital parameters are carefully monitored Whenever there is an extra pressure either in the oxygen or air, the blender releases that pressure and this type of sounds comes from the machine and this is a mechanical alarm that the machine gives. The oxygenation part of the body is taken by the ECMO, still a ventilator is used and a very small like you can say baby lung type of setting is done so that just contraction and relaxation of lungs takes place. Here you can see the RPM and the flow. So the RPM regulates the flow of this machine and with the changing the RPM we can adjust the flow of the machine. So in, by increasing or decreasing we can regulate the flow. We also need to consider that if the patient is having that enough volume to take the flow. If the volume is not there, the amount of blood is not there in the body then there is a then you cannot have a higher rpm so depending on that and situational the clinical decision is taken for the flow so this was a basic overview of ecmo <laughs>